I've been living here for about like 14 years. I don't really have the best relationship with my doctors as far as speaking about like natural remedies. I think they kind of stray away from that. Well, here at the New York Botanical Garden, we're really pioneering the field of urban ethnomedicine, the study of uh, urban communities' use of medicinal plants for healing. Whenever I had like a cold or fever, my parents would um, mix garlic and um, lime together, and that would help a lot if you had a, a stuffy nose or a sore throat. One of the questions that we ask our communities is what are the health problems that your community is struggling with? Being able to communicate with them on their level, being able to discuss with them uh, medical terms and terms that they're more familiar with helps to form that bond and trust. We bring healthcare in the mix and, and finding funding for this very interdisciplinary program is a very unique thing that Cigna is doing for us and it has really helped us bring this on the map of scientists and also hopefully in, in the future on the, on the map of uh, healthcare providers across the U.S. and abroad. It's not important what I believe, what you believe, it's important what your patient believes and that together you can have a, an open and trusted conversation about the subject.